Okay. Let's take a look at this uh, limited collector's edition Batman. Fourteen ninety nine. This is the um, large treasury edition size. Uh, a reprint. Where's my measuring tape? There we go. About 13 and a half inches by 10 inches. Bigger than your average comic book. Um, and this is his most epic adventure, a 76 page novel in comics form. I think this was about four issues in the original. Well, look, uh, Jeanette Kahn, little introduction here. Limited Collector's Edition, Volume 6, Number C51, Facsimile Edition. Um, I got this just for the art. I just kind of wanted to see this uh, Neil Adams art at a large size. And see how well they did with the Facsimile Edition. There's a nice Batman for you. Art by Neil Adams and Dick Giordano. Edited by Julie Schwartz. Story by Denny O'Neill. I am really not a big fan of this era of Batman. Uh, I grew up as a kid in the 70s. Uh, I, I consider like the late 70s to be my real kid era of uh, comic books. I started collecting probably when I was about 9 or 10 in about 75, 76 well, at least that's, that's when I started taking comic books seriously. You know, seriously as a ten-year-old can. <laughs> like I love, I love these uh, Neil Adams shots like this of Batman pulling off his mask. But there's a lot of there's a lot of weird stuff in this visuals that there's a great a great Batman shot headshot right there of him. You know, his uh, mask all in black. I think that's how he's meant to look all the you know blue because in comics blue was oh dark blue is always sort of a substitute for black so i always imagine batman's costume is really all black to fight the, despite the fact that it's in blue here and i never liked Ra's al ghul as a villain just because like all the stories i read of him oh, i won't focus in the 70s, we're all kind of the same. He'd show up, he'd die at the end, he'd be resurrected, he'd be, have lots of henchmen and a daughter. But boy, this art is nice. Great shot down here, Batman punching that guy. And this I always found strange in some of these Ra's al Ghul stories in the 70s, where Batman's just sort of uh, in the real world, and everybody else is in real world clothes, but he's in a costume. <laughs> I always found that a little strange. It's like, you know, to me, if, if Batman's not in, like, Gotham City at nighttime, he looks a little strange. And then this is weird, too, where he, he's fighting a jaguar or something. <laughs> it's just like, you know, it's just funny to see. And, and, and like, he snaps his jaw. Or, I, I, just found, I just always found that to be a weird fight. Batman and a big cat. <laughs> Not the fight I wanted to see. I should. Once again, here we here we go. Everybody's in their climbing gear, and Batman's in his bat mask too. It's like, what is what is he doing in climbing gear and bat mask? Let's see if we can get that in focus. There we go. But very cool scenery, nice mountains. You know, just Batman in a bat mask climbing a rope just always seemed. Uh, what's that word? Incongruous to me. You know, when he when he leaps into action, he takes off his coat and swings around the mountain in his in his uh, costume. Nice sequence here with this guy hunting him and Batman chasing him down. It's another great little shot of Batman just pushing those two guns away. Come on, focus for me, focus. I don't have patience for your phony rituals. Nice Neil Adams shot over there again. Like I said, I picked this up for the artwork. Cape taking up half the panel. Very cool. Him fighting this big guy. 
Nice moody shot of Batman right there. This is on an uncoded paper too, so uh, it looks like a 70s comic. And his daughter, this was always a weird thing about the Rachel Gould daughter uh, stories too, is like the daughter shows up and Batman's a blubbering idiot when she shows up. It's like, huh? Now here we go. Um, Irv Novick and Dick Giordano. I wonder who did that lettering. That's pretty cool. Bruce Wayne, rest in the no letterer. DC wasn't crediting the letterers then? That's weird. Or, or not the colorists either. wonder when they started doing that. I think Marvel started before then. But some nice Irv Novick art. Not as nice, as, of course, as the Neil Adams, but still pretty cool. I like that bat cape there in that one. Hey, Rosh. What else we got here? The old chef in the chef's hat. <laughs> and this matches Malone. Always cracked me up. I mean, I, I, it's just always light and matches, too. It's like, come on. Can't you have an incognito identity this batman's incognito his underworld identity when he'd want to go get some information from underworld characters he'd become matches malone who was always lighting matches it's like how to draw attention to yourself come on batman i just always thought he was goofy matches malone like it's like he's hiding from these guys yet lighting matches like it's 70s dc never made sense to me and you're joined with Matches Malone, ex honcho of the Waterfront Mob. <laughs> oh, look, there's Batman and Matches Malone. I think they were arguing at one point, he and Robin, about who gets to dress up as Matches Malone. Uh oh, maybe it's nobody. Time to retire Matches Malone, though not as permanently as the real Malone was retired by his own bullet. <laughs> Guy just falls off the roof. No, he's still alive. Batman saves him. Don't worry. Oh, it was a Batman dummy. Look at that. The real Batman didn't get stabbed in the chest. That, that panel looks nice. That uh, splash page looks nice blown up to that size. A nice knife fighting here. Abandon your blade? It was distracting me. <laughs> Batman don't need no stinking weapons, except for batarangs and smoke bombs and whatever else he's got. Nice knife fighting judo action. Oh, Matches Malone is back. Or is this uh, Robin? Yeah. <laughs> Robin is Matches Malone. That, that kills me too. Those little clouds come... Because, you know, Robin is so much smaller than Matt Man Matches Malone. He had some air in his suit, and there's the poofs of air leaving. It's stuff like that that always made me go, what? To a lot of this DC 70s writing. Big guy's back, punching him. Dick Giordano's inks, keeping things consistent. Aha, I'll run under your legs. You big slow guy. It's been months since I saw you, fatso. <laughs> fatso? Dude's not fat. What's up with Batman? Fat shaming a guy who's not fat. <laughs> some, some gondola and uh, snowmobile action. Very James Bondian. <laughs> That's... That's kind of a funny panel. <laughs> Hold your ears. I think we get some Neil Adams at the end of this one again. Green-suited woman against green-suited woman. There's some Raish. Looking intense. Oh, that's the Lazarus pit he's coming from. Yeah, we're back to uh, Neil Adams and Dick Giordano. Like this is how this is how every Rachel Ghoul story began and ended with him coming out of that Lazarus pit. Think Batman could find that Lazarus pit and put an end to it, but no. He 
could not. Nice action there. Ooh, I like this, this this face in the panels down the bottom is pretty cool. Nice Batman profile. Once again, Batman on skis makes me go, huh? Batman on s It's like everybody else is in their normal ski clothes. Batman's in a Batman costume skiing. That always makes me go, what? Oh no, runaway ski pole. Not quite sure why he put halos around these two panels. That's weird. I didn't notice that when I was looking for that nice Batman face there. <coughs> oh, this this, uh, this sequence I always found funny too. Shirtless Batman fighting shirtless Ra's al Ghul, but he's still wearing his uh, his mask. Huh? That's just a little weird. And here, shirtless Batman kissing Talia. With his mask on still. That, that, that. I just remember. Here, oh, here's Angry Shirtless Batman. There's a classic panel. Angry Shirtless Batman with his mask still on. And I don't even know what this part of his mask that's somehow sticking to his shoulders is. <laughs> like this, love this artwork, but these sort, this sort of imagery always kind of made me go, huh? Oh, oh, there we go. He pulls it. And this is the famous one I'm, uh, Neil Adams mentions, the cover with shirtless Batman. Um, they made him put pants on Batman here because the pants are attached to the costume over here, but they made him put pants on Batman there. So Batman wears two pair of pants, Neil Adams says. Superman versus Muhammad Ali at the facsimile, the hardcover facsimile of that. The men behind the masterpiece, Denny O'Neill, Neil Adams, Irv Novick, Dick Giordano, and Julie Schwartz. All right, so there you go. That was a nice look at the Dark Detective versus his Muslim foal, Raish al Ghul. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. Other people say it a different way, but that's usually how I say it. All right, hope you enjoyed that look, and we'll catch you next time.